I'll bring everybody up to speed with Love Island. Uh, you may wonder what kind of cretins are in there this year. Well, <laughs> the Daily Star has managed to give us a little rundown. I'd like uh, to be in there. Love Island's lads are a randy bunch oh, before maybe not. they went in the villa. <laughs> the Daily Star grilled them about their sex lives and compiled a league table. Personal trainer Adam oh, Collard is only 12 22. 12 minutes past seven in still the morning. Tops the board. When asked how many girls he slept with, he boasted probably hundreds. The show's David Brent, stationary boss Jack Bincham, is second with 80 women. Joker Niall Aslam reckons he's only bedded 40. But this is probably a lot higher, as you went on to add, you can't count holiday romances. Magaluf doesn't count. I can't do it. How long is this on for? What, this programme? No. Since 8.30. <laughs> Eight are the... weeks. Eight weeks of this. Eight weeks. Eight weeks of these people coming out with, you can't count holiday romances. Magaluf doesn't count. So, Susanna, we've got eight weeks of this, haven't we? I don't understand why any sense of it. You two are intelligent people, right? I love it. Beresford, not so much, but you two. Oh, I just what? don't get why. Why would anybody? I get dating yeah. tips from it, but well, maybe well, not. What possible them. dating tips do you give somebody them. who's just announced <laughs> that the holiday romances in Magaluf don't count? Well, they what don't. dating tip are you getting He's from right. that? They don't count. Oh. Who's ever got married out of a holiday romance in Magaluf? Actually, that's a good question this morning. Why don't you get in touch if you did get married mm. after a holiday romance in Magaluf? Because Piers Morgan would like to know if they actually last. <laughs>